Okay, here's a quick video just demonstrating on how to turn low poly in-game models, in our case for mobile game, into um, models with a higher tri count, um, higher poly count. Uh, it's not just going to increase the tri count, it's also going to round off some of those sort of pointy um, silhouettes, the little pointy areas, like say on the shoulders and stuff. Um, so that the model will be nice and polished for, say, video creatives. All right, so we're trying to import the low poly in-game model. Okay, there it is. Um, so there you can see those those um, sort of pointy low poly um, facets that we we so used to for in-game models, but obviously for mobile at that size you don't see it. Um, plus, we're using um, unlit. Um, shader in Unity, so that also reduces the fact that you won't see those facets. Um, plus, it's set to smooth. Um. All right. So how you can do that is you just select the model, make sure you're in the modeling standard workspace, and you go under Mesh and you just click Smooth. But click the Smooth option so you can see what's going on here. I leave everything default. But you can see there's my settings. I in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna crank up the division levels to two. It's gonna make it uh, really highly detailed. Um, and before I do that, I'll actually just press Control D and just do a duplicate. So I'm just gonna call this one original. My spelling right there. Or oh, my typing more. My spelling. All right. So I'm just gonna hide the original. We'll go back to that one. Go mesh smooth options. And we, uh, I'm going to use uh, two levels of divisions. Just click smooth. It's extremely fast. Uh, and then you look at, look at the shoulders. You can see they're nice and smooth. And the great thing is it doesn't mess with the UVs and it doesn't mess with the, the skin weights either. So if I go to UV editing, I'm going to enable the all the model. And uh, click on the rider. You can see there's the UVs of the rider. And that's the, the new one. And we click on the old one. And you can see they, they're in the same location. The UV coordinates are the same, so the textures will still work. Uh, I am going to quickly go here and just um, unlock these so I can move the model to the side so you can actually see the difference. Let's bring it a little bit closer and um, let's go to the front view and just turn the grid off. There we go. And here you can see, if you just look at that shoulder, that big facets over there, and uh, that's gone. Okay. So mesh and smooth options, or just smooth once you have your settings correct, will do the trick. I'm going to hide this, and I'm going to press play in for the animations, and we'll see that it animates just fine. Okay. So. We've just turned our low poly in-game model into a high res model, retained the UVs, and um, we retained the skin weights and the animations still work. Okay, so ignore some of the, the weird in-between uh, keyframes that's in the original. Uh, animations just sometimes have these wonky in-between animations, um, but that's we don't use that in-game. So as you can see, uh, it all animates fine. Okay, all right, hope that helps, and uh, take care.